Hello, this is Teamwork Haya Yantar, Precinct 7, Capital Planning Committee Chair, speaking on Article 56. Taking a lesson from Hamlet, we're keeping this short and sweet. I have five minutes, and I'm going to cover five points. One, two, three, four, five. First, thank you. The Capital Plan is a group effort. Many thanks to our partners throughout the town. But mostly, this was months of hard work by the Capital Planning Committee. I listed our members for you here. And I want to call out the work of two persons. Our treasurer, Phyllis Marshall, congratulations on issuing $77 million worth of bonds at 1.77% interest. And Kate Leary, who is my co-author and editor on the report to town meeting. I couldn't have done it without you. OK, second the content of the report. We lead off with an explanation of what you're voting on and that vote itself. This is the capital budget for fiscal year 2022. It's shown on pages one through six. It lists what capital items we'll be buying in that year and what we'll pay in debt service. More detail on those in a minute. The report also talks about the full five-year plan with detail by department. It covers both fiscal 22 which is what you're voting on, and projections for the out years. And in the appendix, we have several tables covering all the capital plan items. Third, our fiscal 22 acquisitions, which total $8.5 million. They're paid for with a combination of cash from general tax, other funds, and bonds. And they're listed in sections two, four, and five of article 56. We discuss it in the report, but here are the highlights. About two thirds of the capital budget is going to public works, mainly water and sewer maintenance and rehabilitation, also roadway and sidewalk repairs and improvements, as well as vehicle replacements. Another 14% goes to schools, including information technology for education. That sum covers academic IT, vehicle vehicle re replacements, and an engineering study in which we are assessing the scope, timing, and cost of school facility repairs. The remainder of the budget, about $1.6 million, splits roughly equally four ways, town buildings, recreation, police and fire, and all other departments. The portion that we finance through bonds in section five is relatively small at $790,000. But I mentioned these because they obligate future town meetings to pay their debt service. So they sp specifically require a two thirds vote by this town meeting, which is a good segue to fourth debt service. For fiscal 22, it's $15.8 million. This is an article 56, section three, and is mostly paid by cash from general tax. It covers principal and interest on all the bonds that the town has issued in the past. With a few exceptions, our debt is non-exempt. It fits in the capital plan approved by town meeting. Exempt debt is outside of the capital plan authorized by townwide debt exclusion referenda. These are usually big ticket items. The clearest example is Arlington High School. We have to pay interest on both exempt and non-exempt debt, and here's where we pay it. Apart from debt exclusions, though, the town keeps within the capital plan. That's my fifth point, its size. In the 22, it's $8.6 million. You see it in this table here, which is also in your reports. The 5% rule limits the capital budget to, you guessed it, 5% of the town budget. We target that level in both fiscal 22 and in the out years. This rule constrains the town to live within its means. To make room for some new high priority items, something else has to give. And so, in conclusion, I hope you've had the chance to read the full report. The committee and I are available to take questions. Please vote yes on 56 and please stay safe.